Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and if you're trying to reinstall macOS Sierra in recovery or internet recovery and are getting the message and error has occurred while preparing the installation, try running this application again, this video is for you. This is not the date and time or certificate issue. This is a totally different issue that has come up that I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to fix the issue. Let's jump in and get started. started. If any information about this video changes, make sure you check the description of this video for updates. And I also have a list of chapter sections that you can go right to the position you need, especially at the end where I'm going to show you how to create a USB installer inside macOS recovery. And I have a companion article here that goes over step-by-step -step how to do that. To get started, I have three different ways that we can get out of this issue. If you booted to macOS recovery with command R or you booted to internet recovery and you attempted to reinstall Sierra, this is where it ends up. It downloads and then it tries to get the installation started and you get up with this error. So I'm going to quickly go over what happened and how this error created. Then we're going to go over each step on how to get this fixed. First of all, if you're at the screen, there's nothing you can do. You can't restart the installation again. All you can do is hit OK. But if you wanted to look at the information on how we got here, you can click on Window and click Installer Log. And then you can click over here to show all errors. And we can go right down to the bottom and show you the root of the issue. It says that it tried to mount the install esd.dmg that it downloaded from the Mac App Store with an error code 110 could not mount the base image, failed to mount the outer image, and is unable to bless the startup disk to reboot to the installer. So what's happening is, is that it's going to Apple's Mac App Store and then it has to download the install ESD DMG. When it starts to try to unpack that to start the installation, the DMG is corrupted. That's what the whole problem is. Whether you're downloading it from recovery or you go to the Mac App Store link, both of those links are completely broken. So now that we're in that position, we know what happened. How are we going to fix it? Well, let's first go over the first way that we can fix this issue. So we'll click on OK and we'll go back to our article. Now I've got three different workarounds that you can use to be to get around this situation. Now I'm going to quickly go over each one so you can pick the one you want to be able to use. The first one's the easiest way. If your Mac is compatible with a newer operating system, for example, Mojave, Catalina, or Big Sur, you can use Command Option R to boot to the latest version of macOS recovery, and those recovery systems don't have any issues whatsoever. Wonder if your Mac is not compatible with that version, newer version, or you don't want to upgrade to those newer versions. This option is not going to work. Now that goes to the second way, which is to create a macOS C. USB installer. If you boot to that, there's no problems at all. The only problem with this is there's two issues that prevent you from creating the Sierra installer. And number one is, is that you can't even open the DMG to install the application to create the install media on any operating system newer than Mac OS Sierra. So if you got High Sierra, Catalina, Mojave, Big Sur, it will not let you do that. And even worse is, is that once you install it, then there's an error in the info plist preventing you from creating a Mac OS CR USB installer. You're most likely going to be in the third situation. You only have one Mac, you don't have a USB installer, and you have no way to fix your Mac. We are going to show you how to download the only version working of Mac OS Sierra directly from Apple servers. We're going to install that. We're going to mount that DMG, install that app inside recovery and start the installer directly from that download. So let's get into starting that walkthrough now. Okay, we are back at the main menu of the Mac OS Sierra Internet Recovery or Command R for internal recovery. We have already erased our disk and we have nothing we can do now. We're, we're in big trouble. Step one is to make sure we are connected to Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Now, if you booted Internet Recovery, you had to do that already. You should see that up here. The Wi-Fi is connected to so your OK. But if you booted an Internal Recovery, it doesn't require Internet. So make sure that you connect to Ethernet or Wi-Fi now. That's step one. Step two is that we have to go into the terminal app and we have to make sure the date and time is correct. If you look on the internet today and you look up this issue, most of them are going to say it's a certificate issue or it's a date and time issue. That was before Apple reissued the Sierra installer to fix this issue. This current problem requires a proper date and time. Now that we're in terminal, to make this window bigger so you can see the text better, all you need to do is hold on command and the plus key next to the delete key and it'll make it really big so you can read the text a little bit better. We have to check the date command to make sure the date and time is correct. So we'll type in date and enter and it should show today's date and time properly. If it doesn't, we can issue the NTP date command to update from Apple's time server. So we'll do NTP date dash U space time dot Apple dot com enter and it will reach out to Apple's time server, synchronize and then come back at the command terminal to show you that it's complete. We'll run date again 
and we're good to go. Now that the date and time is correct, we can continue on with the next step. If we don't have the date correct or the time is incorrect, we could get a different certificate error when we attempt to install it. Now what we need to do is run a couple series of commands. To make that easier, I put a file on archive.org that has a full list of instructions so we can do a cut and paste to make this a lot easier. I will put this URL in the description of this video or I'll type it out here now so we can walk through it. So we're gonna use the curl command to grab the text file and print it on the screen. So we're going to type in curl, C-U-R-L space dash capital L space HTTPS. If you have download errors with this URL, try HTTP or check the description of this video. Maybe the URL had to change colon forward slash forward slash archive dot org forward slash download forward slash Sierra URL forward slash sierra.txt enter and there's our full instructions there's a couple things we need to do let's do a command minus to make the window a little bit better so we can read the text and we'll make this larger and then we can follow these instructions step by step you can cut and paste these commands i've got the commands here you can see the instructions are with the star and the command is right under the instruction now if you want you can copy these commands by just highlighting with your mouse click on your mouse highlight it like this and you can right click on it and hit copy or you can click copy and paste from the edit bar. So let's go over the first instructions here. Basically talk about the issue up here and tell what you need to do. If you have not erased your drive already, make sure that all your data is backed up, but most likely your drive is already erased. That's why you're in this problem. So basically I'm saying that the only official working Mac OS Sierra full installer is the install OS.dmg located at this URL. And the easiest way to work around that is these instructions that we're gonna follow here is make sure that our drive is called Macintosh hard drive. So we're gonna open up another window here. We're going to click on terminal and we're going to click on new window, open window with a basic. And we're going to follow these instructions in the other window so we can cut and paste it with these instructions. So we need to make sure that we erased our drive and we named it Macintosh hard drive. So we can do a disk util list. We want to see this right here. We want to see your disk zero and Macintosh hard drive here. That's what you should see. I've got a couple other drives on here, but if it's not, go back into Disk Utility, erase the drive, and make sure it's named Macintosh Hard Drive. So now that we know that it's Macintosh Hard Drive, we're gonna start issuing these commands. The first thing we need to do is change into the directory of Macintosh Hard Drive. Now what we need to do is we need to download the full macOS Sierra 10.12.6 install DMG from apple.com using curl. This is a 4.7 gigabyte file from Apple server and it might take a little while to download. And if it fails, we'll try to download it again until we get the full download. So this is the command that we're gonna run. We're gonna use curl again and we're gonna copy this line command here, right click and copy or command C to copy. And we're gonna bring in this other window here. We're gonna make this window a little bit bigger so we can watch the download progress. And then we're gonna do a command V or paste command. And then there's our curl, curl HTTP updates.apple.com. And then this is the URL for the install os.gmg. We're gonna hit enter. And there it goes. And the nice thing about the curl command is it gives you all the information that you're gonna need about the download. It's gonna tell you your current speed. It's gonna tell you how much time left you have for the download and the average download speed. Now this can vary. I've seen it go from 300 kilobytes a second all the way up to 15 megabytes a second. We're gonna let this fully download and also tells you how much data it has received. It's already downloaded 33 megabytes of the installer here. So let this go, give it some time. And if this fails, it'll go back to the command line. Just click the up key again and keep downloading this until we have the full download. We'll let this download and we'll come right back when it's finished. So close yet so far. And I'm kind of glad this came up because this might happen to you. This is kind of one of the small issues when trying to do something in macOS recovery. The download failed right at 4.5 gigabytes at almost 95% complete. If this happens to you, it's not a big deal. All you need to do is hit the up key and we'll hit enter and we'll try one more time. The best part about this is, is it immediately jumped up to a quicker download speed than when we initially started. Now it's getting 2.3 megabytes a second, saying it's about a half hour download. We'll let this go and we'll be right back after it finishes. Okay, we're back 14, 12, 11 seconds here. Now we have the full macOS Sierra 
DMG and it's called install OS at DMG. The next step is that we're going to have to mount that DMG. So we'll go back to our instructions here and we're going to run HDI util attach. Now we change the directory into the Macintosh hard drive because when we run the curl command, it downloads everything to that current working directory. When we run this HDI util, command it's going to pull directly from that working directory which is macintosh hard drive command v to paste and we'll hit enter we'll give it a second it's going to load the dmg and mount it okay it's now mounted at volumes install mac os now the next command we're going to run is we're going to actually install the package that is inside the dmg which is called install os package and the target is macintosh hard drive so we're going to copy this and we're gonna paste this in our new window. And hit enter. So I do the base path. And it's going to create a directory called applications. Now if that's done, we can actually start Mac OS Sierra installer application from inside the installer app. Then we do that is navigate to the contents, Mac OS install assistant binary, and that's what we're gonna to use to get it started. So we're gonna copy that, copy, and we'll paste. Enter. Now we'll give it a second here. It'll spit out some text. Now the window that we need is actually behind all these windows. So we can move these out of the way over here. And there it is, Mac OS Sierra installer. Now all we need to do is click on continue. We don't wanna close these windows yet because if we do, the installer will close. We'll click agree, agree again. And then we'll select Macintosh hard drive and then click on install. And there it goes. It's now installing and preparing the installation to the drive. And then when this is finished, it's going to reboot to that installer. It's going so fast because all of the installation files are already on the drive itself. All we need to do is click on restart. Now what it's going to do is it's going to complain about these open windows and that's fine. We'll click on restart. And then all you need to do is click close those other applications and then wait a second. And there it goes. Now it's restarting to the Mac OS Sierra installer and we are now complete with our installation of Mac OS Sierra. I hope this video helped you and your Mac is back up and running again. If it did, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, let me know and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.